Hi Aries, uh, let's go ahead and get into the, the, the energy for the month. Getting into the energy here, giving it a few shuffles. And we'll get the cards down on the table. For the Aries Collective, Sun, Moon, Rising, or Venus, or a multitude of those. Cross watchers, you're welcome, but I am representing Aries in this reading. So my bias, <laughs> my if I have a bias, it will be for the Aries people, because this reading is for them. Okay, here we go. One more shuffle. I like to have it a certain sound. I like to hear it a certain way, like that. All right, let's go ahead and see what's here. We have three of pentacles. Three of Pentacles coming in. Let's see what we have. Let's see what we have for Aries. Four of Swords. Four of Swords. Queen of Pentacles. Queen of Pentacles. Ten of Wands. Ten of Wands. Okay, let's get the bottom row. Bottom row. King of Pentacles. We have a king and a queen here of the same suit. Very interesting. Very cool to see that. Right? It's fun when the same when the same um, suit shows up for a inner reading. High priestess. And the last card. It's a five of cups. All right, let's go ahead and clarify while we're pulling cards. Kind of interested in this three of pentacles. Let's go into the three of pentacles just a little bit here. Deeper into the three of pentacles, please. Deeper into the three of pentacles. Ooh, justice tried to come out. We have the Knight of Pentacles here. Oh my gosh, you guys. Um, I do want to see what this Five of Cups is about. Five of Cups energies. What is this Five of Cups about? What is this Five of Cups about? I know these are general readings, so it could be a little different for, for you guys. Um, but it's connecting into something new, um, a new uh, a new dream, a new goal, um, something that you might have once um, maybe even tried to do. Let's go a little deeper into the star because uh, it's connected into a dreams coming true, destinies, um, um, transparency of self, honesty and rawness of self. Let's go ahead and connect into the star energy. This is Aquarius energy. Oh, jeez. And we have the Knight of Swords. Knight of Swords coming out, and also the Magician and the Four of Wands slipped out too, but um, they, they, they I, I feel like it was a Knight of Swords that was meant to come out. Um, and so let's go ahead and get started, Aries. We have you coming into the month in the Three of Pentacles energy, something that you're working on, something that you might be new at, or this could be something that you just started, but there's a lot of uh, motivation here, there's ambition, there's enjoyment. And the Three of Pentacles really is about refining a craft, getting better at something that you're doing, learning what tools to use, learning what hours of the, of the day to do it. Um, um, you know, with the Three of Pentacles, you can be working with other people and your ego, your ego is healthy. It's willing to share, it's willing to learn, it's willing to work hard because just as a clarifier card is saying, um, there is some there is some progress here. 
There is some new stability here. There is an improvement that you're connecting into with the Knight of Pentacles. Now, the Knight of Pentacles is forward movement. This could have been a, th this could be connected in with like a new job or something. But I, I just feel for the Knight of Pentacles, like you could have already have seen some sort of improvement or you could be moving very quickly into some improvement here for you. You are in the King of Pentacles energy after all. Whether you're a female or a male, you're in a masculine King of Pentacles, strong earth energy. So you're working um, on your income. You're working on your potential. You're working on your long-term future. Um, you're, you are seeing out into the future, understanding that life is going to get better. You are inspired by what you're doing. And you're making good decisions for not only for your life, but those people that are in your immediate circle for your home, for your future, for your retirement plan, for all of those things. That's what the King of Pentacles looks at. Now, this is all very, a lot of Pentacle energy. So there is some nice movement here. The Knight of Pentacles, he doesn't, he doesn't play games. He brings it in. He brings it in. Now, this could be a lot of hard work. And um, we do work hard with the Knight of Pentacles. But when we have the Three of Pentacles and the King of Pentacles, man, that's the power move. So um, strong, intense, I'm willing to, to, to step in, you know, step, step forward in, into something that you're working on and um, you're grabbing it. You're, it's yours. You're, you're moving forward and it comes with this King of Pentacles. You know what you're doing. Kings are big time. They've been through it. They know how to do it. They, they know how to work it. Right. And that's really what you're doing. You could be working really hard. You could be, you know, um, look at this guy. He's, he is. He's figuring out how best to do it. He's working hard. He knows that he has something um, good for him here, and he's willing to do what it takes. And that's the Knight of Pentacles. Great energy, forward movement, grit, tenacity, perseverance, success. All right. And as you're moving through the month, this is something, whether you're working hard or not, Aries, it's something that brings you great relief. It's something that brings you great relief. And there could be moments here. There could be some days here where you really are soaking it in. You're coming in out of the battle. You're resting. You're feeling the relief. Um, you're, you are really, you, the four of swords, it helps you. It helps you to see where you've been and, and where you are now. And it comes with um, a sense of quiet joy. It really does. It comes with a sense of quiet joy relief and peacefulness. So there is a quiet victory here, Aries, for you. Now you are moving from the King of Pentacles focus into the High Priestess. So there's something in the middle of the month that you're working on, something that you're working on because it's connected to that queen. Now there could be a Queen of Pentacles around you because we do have you in the King of Pentacles. And this this um, this area up here often connects in to energy outside of us in this reading. So with the Queen of Pentacles, um, there could be a Queen of Pentacles around you. And we'll go into the Queen of Pentacles mindset and what she has to say in just a little bit. So we'll dig into her and see. Now, um, if you're a female, you could be in a masculine energy. And if you're with another person, that other person could be in a feminine Roles change like that. We move from feminine to masculine to masculine to feminine, depending on what the universe is requiring us to do, right? And we can move back and forth. So whatever's going on, you, you especially at the beginning of the month, is going, are going to be in a masculine energy. And then we do have a queen of pentacles here in a feminine energy um, that, that is making, that, that's, that's creating a ripple or she has something to say or she's there with you in some way. Um, but as you move into the middle of the month, you're taking on the frequency of the high priestess. So there's something here you're recognizing is important. Something that's important. Could be a little adjustment in what you're doing. You could be sensing that the Queen of Pentacles has something to say. Um, you could be planning for the future. You could be getting, uh, like kind of catching yourself up because you have the Four of Swords and the High Priestess. Oftentimes, the Four of Swords does spend time in meditation, in prayer, in thankfulness, and the High Priestess know, knows how to work the energy. So um, there is a little bit of a flavor here of quietness, soul, soul searching, um, energy reading, uh, and it somehow is connected into the High Priestess energy. So we're going to go ahead and look at her energy um, in just in just a couple seconds, but I want to finish with this High Priestess. Uh, I do think this is about your intuition. I think that you've had a little bit of time here to kind of take it all in, and you're feeling better about where you are, feeling good about what you've done, and in the High Priestess energy, we're taking a little bit of time recognizing maybe that 
um, it feels like there could be some adjustments you're making that you're connecting in with this high priestess. Let's go into her energy. Let's go into her energy and see what she's focused on or how she feels. A fool, something new. Something new she's thinking about. Something new. Maybe something to add. Maybe another project. She's thinking about doing something new. She's, she's, how does she feel about what she's doing? It's like she's analyzing. She's, and we do have the King of Pentacles here. So you have that um, energy still strong within you with the King of Pentacles. He doesn't do anything new unless he takes a good, hard, long look at it. And I feel that's what you're doing. You're doing it in a feminine space from a feminine standpoint. And you're looking at something new that you're about to do. And um, it's, because we have the King of Pentacles here, which you were just in this frequency, I do believe you're you're looking at, okay, how uh, now that you have this new idea, how do you feel about this idea? What do, does your intuition say? Is it ready to go? Are you ready to engage? What kind of work do you need to do before? How do you prepare for this? You are kind of looking and you're being quiet. I don't think anybody really knows too much about what your plans are, but you are thinking about doing something new. Now, this could be a hobby. It could be adding on to what you're doing here. Uh, it could be um, maybe going on a road trip for a few weeks. Maybe you've never done that before, right? It's something that you've not done before, but um, especially with the strong earth energy here, uh, I do think that this is something that you're taking seriously. You're looking into it. Um, you're recognizing how you feel about it, whether you're scared of some things, you're excited about some things. You're just, you know, spending some time thinking about it and analyzing it. And it's a quiet energy. I don't think you're telling anybody or maybe you're, Maybe not very many people know that you're planning something like this, um, but you you haven't done this before. You haven't done it in a long time, something like that. Now, this there's a Queen of Pentacles here, and I believe this is a person that's around you, right? I believe this is a person that's around you. Let's go into the Queen of Pentacles and see how she feels about Aries. How does the Queen of Pentacles feel about Aries? How does the Queen of Pentacles feel about Aries? Let's go into this Queen of Pentacles energy. Let's go into it and see how she feels. Um, I, I was just, I'm just being reminded that I want to also announce, I, sorry, I just forgot to do it in the beginning, that I do have two products that are available. Um, I have a, a, um, a Zoom call, one hour Zoom call live with me. Um, and I, and um, I would do my best to get those completed with you within 24 hours. So if you're interested in a one hour Zoom call with me um, and to have that completed with me within 24 hours, um, I do have that and I've been doing that. That's been really fun and rewarding and I love it. So if you're interested in that, I have that. And I also have a new product. Um, if you, if there are four of you, between four of you, between four and 12 of you, um, and you want to get together and you want to schedule one Zoom call with me, um, I have discounted rates for that. We can we can do it a lot cheaper if we can get everybody together. And of course, there would be a private space where one one of you could come into a private space, have a reading, and then would exit out, and another person would come in. But you would all be sort of there. It'd be one phone call one after another. We can do that with discounted rates. So if you're interested in getting a group of you together and having one Zoom call, um, a little bit cheaper, um, have a dinner out of it, make a party out of it. If you're interested in that, email me and I have the rates that I can send to you. There's a little bit of uh, flex there too. Um, the goal is to get people together, to have fun, to give readings that um, are satisfying for me uh, in payment wise, but are um, satisfying for you guys too. And you can have some fun and um, we can we can connect in that way. So if you're interested in that, um, feel free to reach out. Otherwise, I, I am doing lots of one-on-one -on -one work and it's been very fulfilling and it's been very good for me to do that. So if you're interested in a personal reading or in a, a subscription reading, um, I have lots of information below. All right, but we're getting into the Queen of Pentacles now. Sorry, I should have done I should have done that earlier, but I forgot. That Aries energy always pulls me in. That fiery, fiery energy and I'm an aqua, so I just get pulled into it. It's beautiful. All right, what does this Queen of Pentacles have to say? What does this Queen of Pentacles have to say? What does this Queen of Pentacles have to say to Aries? Four of, yeah, she's not, <laughs> yeah, so the Queen of Pentacles, um, there's something here that she's not too fond of. She's not too fond of something. What does the Queen of Pentacles have to say? She might be hesitating about something. 
something in her life that she's not too fond of, um, but she is feeling better about things. So it does connect into you. So um, three, the four of cups is here. She's not sure she likes it. She's not sure what she thinks. Um, remember, she's a very safe and secure individual. She looks at the details. She finds um, things that she finds. She She's very careful financially. She's very careful with her mater material possessions. And she looks at the details. And there's something here that she's just not too excited about. But I think that she is staying calm. And I think she is staying quiet. And she's recognizing that there are better days to come. So ultimately, this Queen of Pentacles is optimistic about the future. She's optimistic about what you're doing. And um, she's connecting into you in a more expansive way than in the past. I think this Four of Pentacles is probably something that has come from the past. I, that's what I'm thinking. It's, it has kind of an old energy around it. She, she is in a more optimistic place. And so her mind is, is a little bit more expansive than it was before. And I'm not saying that there's anything wrong with her at all. Um, maybe there's a reason. I'm sure she had a reason. The Queen of Pentacles is very careful. She's, uh, she's very concerned. She, she is, um, uh, uh, she is that kind of a person. So I'm not saying anything bad about her. I'm just saying that she's thinking of you in a, in a more positive way. And it's probably has something to do with what you're doing. Well, you know, the thing is, is that when the King of Pentacles is inside of you and you're making forward movements financially, the Queen of Pentacles can do nothing else but sit back and recognize the success. She can do nothing else but sit back and relax and watch the magic happen. And no matter how concerned she's been in the past, uh, this is something that lights the Queen of Pentacles up. And we can see that in how her energy is beginning to shift. Now, as you're moving through, um, you do have the Five of Cups here. So you are going to be moving into a uh, frequency of the Five of Cups. Um, this connects in with something that you're wanting to do. And I feel like it's connected into these plans that you're making here. Um, there could be something that you have been planning to do that you know you're good at, that you know that you're very good at, something that you're destined to do or something that you have learned through your own journey. Um, you have been planning to share this, to talk about this, to bring this forward, maybe into the family or into the workplace or into the world in some way. Uh, but it looks like you're having your, it's, it, um, it looks like you're ha maybe waiting on that. You could be waiting on that. Uh, it's maybe not quite the right time and you might have to readjust something that you're doing. Ultimately, there is a plan here for you to, to engage in something else, uh, in something that really, and I don't think it's going to hurt this at all. I don't think it's going to impact this at all. The star only shines light, right? The star only shines light and it does come with messaging. It comes with information and, and sharing and things like that. So I do feel like you're adjusting something that you've done and there could be something that happens that uh, maybe it's a little bit of a disappointment. Once you get through the disappointment areas, I think that you are going to find a way through, right? You are going to find a way through because star, the star energy, um, if it's it's a dest if it's destined, it's destined. If it's meant to happen, it's meant to happen. So sometimes with the Five of Cups, we can have this glorious feeling. We can have these big plans and we can get really excited about this or that. And then as we get into it, we recognize, oh, crap, that's not no, oh, yeah, I didn't think about that. Oh, shoot, I forgot about that. And so then you kind of, you you might narrow it down a little bit or figure, okay, I can't do that, but I can do this. You know, it's it's moving through uh, an initial disappointment and then recognizing, oh, yeah, I can do it this way or I can do it that way. You know, it's that kind of a feeling. I don't think it's severe. It doesn't feel to me like it's severe. It's just a, it's a small adjustment at some sort of plans that you're catching here with the high priestess. Uh, and that's why we have the high priestess, because um, she's very in tune like that. And this queen of pentacles could have something to say to help the high priestess. At first, this queen of pentacles, if she has anything to say, she could be noticing something that could be affecting your plans. But ultimately, the, high, the queen of pentacles is someone who's very logical and practical around money, around the marketplace, around investments and things like that. So she might have a warning or she might have um, some sort of uh, concern. And that concern could really make sense, right? It could really make sense. And it could help you to create more of a niche market or to adjust your target audience or something like that. And there is movement forward. It's just... Um, 
it, it, it's just maybe not what you thought in the in the beginning. And and as we're manifesting um, new experiences, a lot of times that does happen. That's something that kind of happens. And when we're quick on our toes and when we're optimistic um, and when we have this energy and we already have a certain amount of success and we're not desperate for it, right? We don't want to be desperate. The star energy is is a, is an energy of um you know, overcoming our inner desperation when we can have the calm and we can have the patience and we can look at it uh, from multiple perspectives, we can move forward into greater success um, in the long run. And I think that's really what's happening here uh, because you do have something very, um, very important to you. And I feel like if it's a star energy, it's going to impact other people in a beautiful way too. So there's a lot of passion behind this. Um, so I do think that there could be some a little bit of adaptations or edits or a little bit of corrections that could be a little at first disappointing, but ultimately it brings you forward into having much more clarity as you move on. It's just, it's that kind of an energy. And as you move, you're in the 10 of wands. So uh, it feels, what it feels like to me is you're having momentum here in the beginning of the month, and that's going to carry all the way through. The Knight of Pentacles doesn't stop. He continues forward. That's why he's so that's why we like him so much. He continues for, he might be slow. It might be hard. He might be intense. He could be coming home in the evenings and having a glass of beer and or a glass of beer. And um, I started to drink beer. I don't drink it very much, but when I do it now, my sister taught me this, always put it into a glass. You don't need to drink it out of the bottle, pour it into a glass. It's so nice and refreshing, right? Um, he might be coming home and he might be I'm having a, a, a beer or two out of the stress, but there is progress, right? Um, so there is success here. There's momentum. So it kind of takes any kind of urgency or desperation out of the star. It really helps the star become bright and twinkly, right? That's what I'm getting. So as this new success comes in, as you take time to realize your potential and to analyze what you've done, I do think that there are things here that you are dropping out of your, your, um, dropping off your plate. Um, I'm just seeing a picture of a plate with some like vegetables. Like uh, for me, it would be, um, what's that green vegetable? You can make guacamole out of it. Avocado. <laughs> like I take it and just scooch it off my plate. I don't need you. I don't need you. And my sister would come over there and grab it up real quick because she likes them. It's just whatever is distasteful, whatever feels too hard, whatever is in that old energy, I do feel like you are um, ridding yourself of that. So you're saying no, you're saying can't do it. You're saying, you know, this wasn't my job in the beginning. I'm going to hand it back to you now. You know, so there is some clearing away of some of that old energy. So you are um, at the beginning of the month, you're bringing in the beauty. And at the end of the month, you're getting rid of the old. And so um, in with the new, out with the old is is the month. I'm, that's what I'm going to title this reading for Aries. In with the new, out with the old. Um, and I think that's what really helps this Queen of Pentacles become much more optimistic because it looks like this logic that's happening here, this is like emotional intelligence. This Five of Cups is emotional intelligence. And I think she's recognizing your emotional intelligence and she's respecting it. If we can wait, we can adapt, we can make it as perfect as can be, um, that is really the best way to manifest if we can do that. And as you're moving out of the month, I think that you're making more room for yourself to enjoy your experience, to work on this, because that's pretty potent. This is a potent energy area. So something really nice here. All right, my friend, um, big energies, big movements, some new stability coming in and the old going out. Way to go, Aries. Way to go. A victory month. All right. Thank you very much. Bye.